What's going on you guys? I hope y'all are having a great day. I'm back here in the truck and that can only mean one thing. We're picking up another bike. Now you're probably thinking, Tanner, what the heck are you doing picking up another bike? You already got so many unfinished projects and half your bikes don't even run. Ooh, that kind of hurts a little bit. But hey, you know, I always say you can never have enough bikes and life's short. But recently we went on a trip to Tennessee to have fun down there in the mountains and I bought that CB300F because I couldn't find the bike that I was looking for last second and I ended up with that bike and absolutely loved it as you guys know. But this bike that I'm on my way to pick up you probably already know what it is. But my buddy Jose bought this to ride down in Tennessee as well and he wanted to sell it as soon as he got back. I guess he has another deal that he wants to get and um, he just wanted to get rid of it. So I'm headed over to his house right now to pick it up. He's been on me like every single hour. Hey man you come pick this up hey man you coming to pick this up so I guess he has this other guy that he's trying to make a deal with and needs the cash to make the deal so I'm headed over there right now I'm excited to show you guys what it is it's a super clean bike he's giving me a great deal on it I'll check in with you guys once we get to his house dude he's calling me right now probably gonna ask whether I'm still coming and he's been non-stop bugging me so I'm gonna mess with him hello what's going on guys <laughs> what's going on man no man, I think I, I think I'm probably not gonna end up buying it to be honest. Alright. I think MJ's gonna sell his and yeah, I think he wants me to buy it, so I think I'm gonna hold out. Alright. Yo, I'm just messing with you. I'm like five minutes away. Oh I'm up now. <laughs> yeah, I'll be pulling up in like four or five minutes. Alright. Alright, we'll see ya. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jose. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, I was about to say, man, that's messed up. <laughs> I had to do it. What's up, What's G? What's going on, guys? Did I scare you for a second? I was like, this mother sucker. I had like three people I was going to buy it. So I was about to message them back. <laughs> hey, hey, come get it. What's going on, guys? This is Tanner's brand new DRZ. Hope everyone's having a good day. He might loop it a few times because he don't know how to ride willies, but yeah, here right. it is. Check it out. Is that back to stock height? No. I'm not going to do it. Man, you suck. Dude, I can't do it by myself. Because this is how I do it. I lean over on the kick stand like this. I use a jack. So if someone could hold it like I could do it. Do you want to put it back to stock height? Yeah. How long it'll take? A couple minutes. All right, we'll do it. got to take them two bolts off. You gotta keep them Charlie Dragon stickers on me. Oh, you know I will. That's memories. <sighs> you alright? Yeah. Are you messing with me? No. Now we just put the bolts on and we Sweet. That was easy. So we got the lift kit back on there. He uh, dropped the forks too, so he's gonna go ahead and loosen that up so we can get him back to normal, normal person height. Short people problems, but we ride these better than tall people. Hey, no. He couldn't keep up, man. I beat his 300 video coming soon. <laughs> this thing's a little clapped out, but you know. There ain't nothing clapped out about this bike. He's hooking it up, so we'll make it work. He said there ain't nothing clapped out. Go. Dude, check that out. Tires ruined. Got to need a new rear tire because of that. No tire. New front sure. tire. I got a front tire here. I, I, you know. Exhaust headers clapped out. Do you want it? Nah, man. Unless you're not gonna do anything with it. I want to do that way. Sure. It gets out of my garage. Gym. I got parts, tire, everything in this garage. Gym. I'll take yeah. it, man. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Nice. You're buying it. That's MJ's GoPro mount. You can keep it. Oh man. Brat, brat vlogs. <laughs> hey, we, we we see you, brat. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Was it flush or was it a little bit of gold showing? There's a little bit of gold, but he had it lowered a little bit too. Was flush, but, so can, I mean, you can have them like flush. I'm full of flush. you want. Yeah, brother. Learning stuff every day. Jose's garage. <laughs> She'd be around and really landing the port this time. Huh? Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> Got the lift kit back on there. It's good to go. But Boom. Boom. Let's see if this is real. That was counterfeit. <laughs> I'll try to mess them up counting. Oh, I'm getting serious with it. I don't know, these hunters are old school. Dude, I'm telling you, they're fake. YouTube doesn't pay that good. He's sweating a little bit. Oh. Dude. I trust you. You trust me? No. <laughs> no, because you are missing 100. 300 down there, my dude. He 
Yeah, I don't have no bro. Man, he's he's <laughs> messing with my emotions right now. Playing with my money is like playing with my emotions. I try getting. Hey, look at that. He's trying to short Puerto Rican kid. <laughs> no. Got a broke down garage. Got a broke down car. <laughs> One motorcycle he's taken from me. Shoot, I'm about to go buy me another one. <laughs> Buying the same exact color, just so you won't be the only one with it. Well, that's it, guys. The deal's done. I don't have a title yet, so I'm kind of screwed. Deal's done. I forgot to tell you guys, my bikes don't come with titles. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dirt bike. You can hold that for me. Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh. I go get that. Ooh, ooh. He gave me the cash back. We gonna get out of here. <laughs> $500 DRZ. $500. Just to put me on his channel. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. No way Jose comes to see. Uh, so it is clapped. Have to do a rebuild here soon. Hey, clapped. It had 5,300 when I got it. And half of all those miles was from Tennessee. Yeah, full blast. <laughs> Rev limiter. All oh, down shifted. <laughs> 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 Doesn't go on me. <laughs> You're getting sued. Look at that. I'm starting beef now. You want smoke? You want smoke? Stay off the dragon. You might slide. You can't ride. <laughs> hey man, I appreciate it. I'll take good care of her. I'll ride it one day. This video is over. I sold my bike. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell for those post notifications every two months. Thank you. <laughs> every two months. <laughs> they did me dirty. It's been a long time without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Perfect. What's up you guys? Sitting here behind the cockpit of my new DRZ. I gotta say, I was real skeptical about getting a Supermoto. Because in my mind, I like off-roading so much. I was like, man, that's no fun, you know? I don't want to go off-road and mess up these nice wheels, but it's super smooth on the road and the power that this bike has is just nice. That carburetor keeps it snappy, you know? It's not smooth like with the fuel injection, and I like that. It gives some personality to it. But this thing is a blast, man. A lot of my subscribers know that I always like talk down about the DRZ and really that's just to do with the weight and um, the fact that it's a five speed, but now owning one, I can say that you don't feel the weight, at least in the Supermoto trim, you might off-road. And the five speed, it does get pretty annoying, but hey, I mean, for a bike this old, woo, chasing that out. <laughs> For a bike this old, you can't complain. They can't change anything about it due to today's emission standards, so that's why it stayed the same since I don't know when. But it's been a long time. This bike has been around forever, and it's pretty much known as a tank in the bike world. Woo! A little swerve action. Drop it back. One thing I love, man, you can just pop it up in almost every gear. I've got a couple fourth gears. They've been a struggle, but yeah. But third gear is like butter.
What's up, G? What's up, dude? How you doing? Yeah. I knew that was you. I knew you were mad wheels. <laughs> it's nice out today, though. Oh, yeah, I know. It feels perfect out. Get you a one wheel. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> well, you'll be in the night's video, so we'll All see you, bro. Right. All right, I'll catch you later. Well, you guys, here she is. My 2016 DRZ 400 SM, courtesy of Jose. Yeah, I know, it might be a shock to you, but I bought a DRZ. She's got an FMF PowerCore 4 with the JD Jet Kit and the Airbox mod. I threw on some CR High handlebars, which I'll do a video on that soon. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite DRZ color schemes. We got the factory gold wheels with the gray plastics. It's actually a pretty rare setup, and there's only one year for it. And I looked for replacement plastics just in case I broke anything, and it was gonna cost me like $500 for a full set. So if anybody out there knows where I can get the gray plastics for cheaper than that, let me know. If not, I'll just have to be careful. So why did I get a DRZ? Honestly, I just fell into the deal. I've never had a Supermoto before, so I really wanted to try it. I've had this bike for, shoot, two months. I've put like 2,500 miles on it and I've had a lot of fun. I mean, there's some things that I don't like and there's some things that I love, but it's a great bike, especially for the price. I mean, you can't beat it. I'll do a comparison and my thoughts between the 250L and this, but there's really nothing to compare. Two completely different bikes in their own classes. But let me know what you want to see me do on this bike. I'll probably have it for a few more months. I've filmed a lot of videos on this already, so I'll be uploading those periodically. But she's definitely a clean bike and we're going to ride it like we stole it. I do want to get the FMF header as well, so we might do that. But yeah, plenty of videos to come. If you're excited about this and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I hope everybody has a great rest of their week and I'll see you in the next video.